Question 5 asks us to calculate the average gradient of f between x equal to 4 and x equal to 1. So if what is average gradient? Let's just first draw a quick rough sketch and look at that. So roughly so our asymptotes and our intercepts. And there's our sketch. Okay, so what is the average gradient? Well, if we take any two points, and I'm not necessarily taking the points that ask us, but um, any two points, uh, let's take around about this point and that point, the average gradient would be the gradient of the line between those two points. So in other words, if I were to connect those two points with a line, it would be the gradient of that line. And we know actually the gradient of a line is quite easy to calculate. It is just m is the change over y divided by the change over x. x is how many, change of x is how many steps we take forward. Okay, um, change over y is how many steps we go up. In this case, it is indeed up or down. If it's down, um, we would have the change of y be negative. Okay, a uh, different way of calculating it is just y2 minus y1. Of course, that is the change of the y values. This y value will be y1, as or y2, doesn't matter. Okay, and that y value would be y2 or y1 actually and similarly x is this will then be x1 and this value will be x2 okay so we're given the x values so um, that would be x2 minus x1 we're given those values 4 and minus 1 what about the y values? Well, for the y values, we are going to have to calculate it by substituting 4 into fx and substituting 4, uh, sorry, 1 into fx as well. And we can see that's also the first question they're asking us right here. What is f of 4? What happens when I substitute 4 into f? Well, let's see. Okay. Uh, f of 4 is equal to negative 2 over, and instead of x, we put a 4 now, minus, or so plus 1, plus 1, and that gives me an answer of negative 2 over 5, plus, well, I want to add this fraction, so let's make this 1 a 5 over 5, so negative 2 plus 5 equals 3 over 5, and that is what I'm going to answer here, 3 divided by 5, preview 0 0.6 it already gives me the decimal answer okay that is f4 how about f of 1 okay f of 1 we actually already know but let's just do that again 2 over 1 plus 1 plus 1 and that calculates to negative 2 this will be over 2 negative 2 over 2 plus 1 will equal negative 2 over 2 is 1. Um, so actually negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So this answer is equal to 0. Okay. So what would the average gradient be? Well, let's just put these values into our formula up here. Our formula being f of two, uh, 4 or 0, 0,6 or you could have used your fractional answer if you wanted to, a minus 0 divided by 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So in the numerator we get 0, 0,6 divided by 3 is 0, 0,2. So 0 0.2 preview and that is the correct answer.